Right guys, welcome to this new series of videos in which I'm going to be going through an entire past paper question by question. I recently put the question out as to whether or not this is something that you'd like to see and the feedback that I got was overwhelmingly yes. Now using past papers is an incredibly effective form of revision if it's done properly. So as you are following these videos, you ideally are attempting the questions yourself before looking at the model answers. Don't worry about getting things wrong it doesn't matter if you do just work out what you should have done differently and then give it another go okay now we're going to start with paper 1 2017 just because it makes sense to start at the beginning as i go through the questions i'm going to give a bit of running commentary on the things to watch out for what my plan is and also why i'm doing the things that i'm doing okay so here we go so first off, I'm going to have a little read through the stem and annotate anything that might be important. As a general rule, you aren't given a stem like this unless they're going to do something with it for at least a couple of questions. So we can save some time later by just spending a minute or so on it now. Okay. So this is everything that I think I might need. Okay, so a few things that I've pointed out here, we have a test of difference because the researchers are looking at the difference between condition one and condition two. It's in the social influence section. So the fact that there is a dissenter and providing social support and stuff that might be important a little bit later on. The researcher is using an independent group's design and we've also found the answer to question one already, which is identify the type of data in the experiment and one of the types of data that we've picked out is quantitative data. Okay, so here is my answer to question number one. Okay, now obviously you could have gone for primary data if you wanted to because the researcher collected the data for the purposes of this study. Um, you could also have gone for nominal data if you wanted to because the researcher was recording how many people did and did not complete the questionnaire. So effectively, people either did or they didn't, which is nominal data because it's categorical data. OK, so either way, you would have got the marks for any of those and you could choose whichever one you wanted to. OK, so that is it. That's question number one. Let's move on to question number two.